Hi there and welcome to another exciting edition of Extreme Football. Now today we've got a very special spectator, it's the Angel of the North here at Gateshead. The Angel stands at 20 metres tall and contains enough steel to build four chieftain tanks. And today she plays host to our celebrity footballers who are here to pass on their soccer skills to you at home and to their teammates. Now as always in Extreme Football we have two mascots competing for the red and the blue teams. And each mascot will be guided through the games by a professional footballer. So it's time to meet the teams. Let's meet the red team first. This defender played not too far from Gateshead in neighbouring Newcastle, but also for Wimbledon, Derby and QPR. It's Warren Barton. Yeah! Hi, Warren. Hi, how, how are you? Doing? Fine, thanks. Very good. Who's this? This is Danielle. OK, she's from Gateshead and she's a big Middlesbrough fan. Excellent. Well, it's time to meet the blue team now. Now, this England defender plays for Everton ladies and she's just the heart of the defence. It's Lindsay Johnson! Yeah! Hi, Lindsay. Who's your teammate? Hi, this is Dean. He's nine. He's from Gateshead and he spots Newcastle United. It's time to play extreme football. Let's hear it for the red and the blue teams. Yeah! Defender Warren Barton signed a then record transfer fee of £4 million when he joined Newcastle in 95, making over 140 appearances for the Magpies. 25 year old defender Lindsay Johnson has played for a country seven times in the England backline and is an established figure with the Everton ladies. Scoring some points in our first game, dartboard soccer. Our players and mascots have to work together as a team to try to knock down as many men as they can, for which they'll earn one point, but they can earn a sneaky additional two points for hitting the balls on the crossbar. This is quite a tricky game, Warren. How do you think you're going to take it on? I think we'll be very confident we've got to kick the ball as hard as we possibly can, and me and Danielle are ready. Good stuff. Well, very best of luck to both of you. We'll give them five, four, three, two, one. Mascot Danielle takes to the five metre penalty spot. Oh, that's an immediate point on the board for the Reds. Next strike hits the back of the net. Warren Barton passing on advice to the youngster. And it pays off. That's a great hit. More points on the board. Unlucky there, just clipping the target. And the Claxton goes for the player changeover. What can next Newcastle defender Warren Barton do here? He eyes the strike straight through the gap, though. That's more like it. Great power from the side of his foot. Puts the target down. Three to the Reds. Barton's got another one down. Nice height on the ball. Oh, he's knocked that one sideways. Warren's red team are up to five points now. Make that six. The countdown begins. It's all over. Fantastic. Well done. Brilliant. Well done, you two. Step this way. That was, you've really got to give it some welly, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm out of breath. Well, it was excellent, wasn't we? You were giving it some welly too there, Danielle. Was that hard work? Yeah. Fantastic. I think the Reds scored a whopping six points. Borough fan Danielle had great power in her shots, really striking the targets well. Our audience jumped as Warren Barton powered home his strikes and he literally knocked the figures sideways. So now it's the turn of the Blues with Lindsay Johnson leading the way. Do you think you can beat six, though? It's a tough one, but I think we can do it. Don't you think, Dean? Yeah. Feeling confident? Well, remember, it's two points for the football targets and a point for the men. Get ready, because we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one! Good start by Dean, but it's not on target. But that's a point for the Blues. Good strike. The ball squeezes between the targets. Still trying. Oh, unlucky, too far. And there is persistent pace off. That's another point for the Blues as he just clips the top of the figure. Good strike, Dean. Nice. Too high, though. Cracks and blows. Lindsay Johnson takes the strike from the 10 metre mark. And straight away, she's on target. Great kick. Oh, and another. Lindsay Johnson has good accuracy, great power on the ball. Oh, yes, this England international is on fire. What a shot. Blues are on five points. <laughs> well, that were a stray one, though. Lindsay's desperate to get those balls lined up. Oh, just through the gap. Oh, that's a great strike. Hits the ball on the crossbar. Two bonus points to the Blues. Well done, coming Dean. Now, Lindsay, how was that for you? It was good. It's good. You looked to be doing quite well. And, uh, did you enjoy that? Hi. What was your, what was your tactics? Did you decide to go for the footballs or did you go for the men? We went for the men. I think it was a great tactic because the red team got six, but the blue team, they got eight! Yeah! Blue mascot Dean shot between the targets three times in a row, but soon got the hang of the game, flattening the target. Everton's Lindsay Johnson displayed power and accuracy in the shot, smashing home for two bonus points. Good defense. 
defender, you need to travel when the ball's travelling. Get touch tight to your player so he can't turn. Go either way with him. And as the ball goes back, you know you've done your job. Now, if the Angel of the North had a face, then I'm sure she'll be smiling about what's going on here today. And the next game would make her chuckle even more. Now, it's called crazy football. Now, play starts by chipping the football over the bunker of balls. Then they have to go through the cones, up the ramp, through the tunnel, through our set of posts, and then take a shot at our extreme shot stopper. Now, when they're taking the shot, the mascot then takes over and play continues until the klaxon blast. It's a point for a completed circuit and a bonus two points if they manage to score. Now, the Blues are at first, so, Lindsay, what skills are needed, really? Oh, I think good footwear skills for the, for the dribbling in and out the corners and up the ramp. Uh, you feeling confident? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, let's get ready, because we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice high chip there by Lindsay Johnson. Plays the pit of balls, but she has to bring the ball back to the dribble between the corners. Good footwork, great agility. She brings the ball back to the stop at the base of the ramp. Ooh, that's too hard. It's bounced back. She'll have to start again. Takes the time. Up it goes. Too hard again with the strike. But that'll do nicely. Third time lucky. She dribbles at pace and takes aim. Great shot. Maximum points. No chipping for the mascots. They dribble around the pool and Dean shows good footwork here. He's making light work of the cones. Good pace as well. Controls the ball nicely at the foot of the ramp. Good try, but he'll have to go back for a second attempt. Again, good control. And it's through. He travels well. Going, he continues to travel, he looks up, shoots, beats the keeper, yeah. scores six. Come on here, guys. Come on. Well done, well done. Lindsay, how was that for you? It's good, it's a bit like, difficult on the tunnel, but got through it in the end. It is quite difficult, I think everyone's struggling with that, but you had no problems, was that fun? No. And uh, did you pick your spot and just blast it for the goal? Well, you did very well, well done, Dean, because you scored six points! Yeah. The ramp and the tunnel caused a few problems for the Blues, but even so, Lindsay Johnson brought home the maximum three points. Nine-year-old mascot Dean showed good footwork around the cones and mastered the tunnel. Next up, it's Warren's red team. Now, Warren, what kind of skills do we need for this game? I think you need everything in here. It's dribbling, technique, ability, so I might struggle. Sure is. No, you'll be fine. Well, let's count them down now in five, four, three, two, one. Good height on the chip from Warren. He navigates the cones with ease. As he approaches the ramp, takes his time. Nice soft kick, it's through first time. Nice control, quick glance of the keeper. Go, 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 Red mascot Danielle starts a run. Good go, dribbling Danielle. control, nice and slow. Go, well done. Oh, a helping well done, hand there, was that a hand? She struck the yellow cone, but instead of bringing the ball back with a foot, she used the go. hand and again. Go, go, take your time, take your time. Take Referee, your time. yellow card. Well, that's nicely go, go, taken well up the ramp and through the tunnel, good work. Approaches the goal, fix the spot. She's straight yeah. the keeper who fumbles it into the net. Well done. Well done. Tell me, Excellent. Danielle. Very good work. That's a full six points. Was that hard? You seemed quite out of breath, but you had all the team on your side there. They were cheering for you. Was it good? Well done. How are you feeling? A bit tired, but we've had a great day. That's been a, excellent. Well done. That's a fantastic six points for the Reds and six for the Blues. Well done. Warren Barton displayed good footwork, easily beating the tunnel and the keeper. Danielle's handball should have seen a card in, but she showed her control on the ramp and the tunnel. Let's count up the final scores now. It's 12 points to Warren Barton's red team and 14 points to Lindsay Johnson's blue team. Well done, well done. Well, it's time to present the signed footballs to our mascots for taking part today in Five's Extreme Football. Now, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves and learned a few new skills along the way as well. But sadly, that's all we've got time for today from Gateshead and the Angel of the North. But join us next time for more extreme football and more extremely talented footballing stars. Until then, goodbye! <laughs>